Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll discuss whether layering a suit jacket, sport coat, or blazer on top of a t-shirt is a stylish look or not. <laughs> In the warmer months of the year, it's only natural to try to cut down on the number of layers you'll be wearing each day. After all, with fewer garments on your body, you'll generally stay cooler. Even so, different situations call for different dress codes. A day at the beach may be well suited by shorts and a simple shirt, but a summer business meeting at the office is still going to require something more formal. And even within these general frameworks, dressing up a little bit more than others is still something that can be done. As an example, wearing a polo shirt, dressier shorts, and boat shoes to a barbecue will look infinitely more stylish than simply wearing a t-shirt, cargo shorts, and sandals. That brings us to the topic at hand today, then. In an effort to beat the summer heat while still looking stylish, can one effectively pair a t-shirt with a jacket, or even with a full suit? Our answer, in a nutshell, is that we wouldn't exactly recommend it. There are a host of other, more stylish options out there, and we'll get to those more toward the end of the video. Still, if you're really dying to pair these two garments together, there are ways to do it that are better than others. On that note, then, let's try to tackle the reasoning behind why someone would conceivably want to pair these two articles of clothing together. Firstly, it definitely presents a casual vibe. In the overall scale of formality, it would probably rank even below smart casual in full-on casual wear. By the way, if you're curious about the scale of formality to which we're referring, you can check out our dress code primer video here. Secondly, and perhaps more practically speaking, it can get hot during the summer months. Given that a t-shirt doesn't often have long sleeves, you'll be removing that extra bit of fabric from your frame and thus staying cooler. It should be said, we're going into today's video with the assumption that wherever you're planning on going, a jacket of some kind is required. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be attempting this combination in the first place and would simply forego a jacket altogether. With that fairly compelling rationale out of the way, however, there are a number of reasons why attempting to pair a t-shirt and a jacket is ill-advised. First and foremost, a t-shirt and a jacket are at greatly different levels of overall formality. And when any garments of greatly different levels of formality are paired together, the overall formality of the outfit skews downward, not upward. In other words, pairing a t-shirt with a jacket doesn't dress up the t-shirt, it only dresses down the jacket. The second key reason for not pairing a t-shirt and a jacket together is that doing so will probably make you look dated and not in a good way. The height of the trend of wearing t-shirts and jackets together came in the 1980s, as perhaps best exemplified by the TV show Miami Vice. Not only were t-shirts worn with jackets and even full suits, but the cut and colors were baggy and bright, respectively. If you do try wearing a t-shirt with a jacket today, even if the fit is more trim and the colors are more muted, most people's first associations are still going to be with the 80s, and you'll have the general effect of looking like a throwback. You might be wondering, how is this any different from the Gentleman's Gazette's frequent praise of early 20th century fashions? Well, the simple answer right now is that the 1980s are just dated enough that most of their fashions aren't in style anymore, but still just current enough that some of those trends are hanging on. In other words, it's kind of an uncanny valley in terms of time right now, and being caught in the middle, wearing some of these distinctly 80s fashions is just going to make you look dated, instead of like someone who's celebrating the stylistic choices of an earlier era. Finally, there are simply a great number of more stylish alternatives at your disposal than pairing a t-shirt and a jacket together. Again, we'll get to those in a moment, but first, if you simply must pair a t-shirt and a jacket together, here's the advice we have on making it look 
passable. First, it's best to choose a crew neck t-shirt over a v-neck. The crew neck is a little bit more modest and will tamp down some of those 80s vibes. In terms of fit, the t-shirt shouldn't be too baggy or too tight. If the t-shirt is baggy, you're just going to look sloppy and not very well put together. And if the t-shirt is too tight, you're just going to look like you have something to prove or you're trying to show off your physique. And as to the question of how your jacket should fit, you should check out our video guide on that subject here. Next, stay away from any flashy colors or patterns on your t-shirt, and this should go without saying, but absolutely no graphic tees, period. Solid and muted colors, or perhaps a subtle pattern such as a Breton stripe, will help to formalize the t-shirt just a little bit and bring it slightly more in line with the formality of the jacket. If you do still want to incorporate some color and pattern into your outfit, you can do so using your jacket within reason, or better yet, using a smaller accessory like a pocket square. And in terms of jacket styles, it's best to go with a summer weight odd sport coat or blazer rather than a suit jacket. As we mentioned above, a suit jacket and a t-shirt are so wildly different in levels of formality that they'll basically be actively fighting with each other if you try to wear them together. And on that note, go with odd trousers as well. Cotton chinos or slacks in a neutral color and preferably without a pattern will casualize and ground the outfit at the same time. Wearing a t-shirt under a matching suit jacket and trousers is a one-way ticket to 80sville. Meanwhile, if you're curious about how to wear and pair garments in neutral colors effectively, you can check out this recent video here. An additional style tip for wearing a t-shirt under a jacket, make sure that the t-shirt is tucked in. If it's untucked, things are just going to look that much more discordant in terms of formality, and they really won't work. Okay, there are our recommendations for pairing a t-shirt with a jacket if you absolutely must. However, as we've alluded to several times over the course of the video, there are a number of more stylish alternatives at your disposal, and we'll discuss those now. Firstly, just wearing a standard dress shirt with an open collar under your jacket should still keep you cooler than if you were wearing a tie, and it will look better as the dress shirt and jacket are closer in terms of overall formality. On that note, you can find our video on wearing jackets without ties here. Next, if you would prefer to wear a shirt without long sleeves, go for a polo. Short sleeve dress shirts under jackets, or even on their own, can look a bit dorky, so they're best avoided. Not only should a polo worn under a jacket keep you cooler, but also, because it's well within the realm of smart casual, and therefore closer to something like a summer weight sport coat or blazer, you can feel free to experiment to a greater degree with the colors or subtle patterns of your polo, so long as they harmonize with those of your jacket. Just make sure that everything is working in harmony, and of course, be sure also that your polo is tucked in. As a bonus tip here, long-sleeved polos in darker jewel tones can work well under jackets in the cooler months of the year as well. Whether short-sleeved or long-sleeved, there is one potential pitfall of pairing a polo with a jacket, and that's the polo shirt's more unstructured collar. In order to make sure things are looking good, give a check every once in a while just to see that things aren't bunched up underneath your jacket's collar. If you do this, wearing a polo with a jacket should be a look that you can pull off well, and it will come off casually overall. For more information, you can check out our guide to polo shirts here. Finally, if you really are against wearing a shirt with a collar, a happy middle ground between a standard t-shirt and a polo would be the Henley shirt. It isn't quite as easy to pair with a jacket as a polo would be, but it's slightly easier than a standard t-shirt. Follow the guidelines we gave for pairing t-shirts and jackets together with your Henleys, and you should end up looking good. So, there are our opinions on wearing t-shirts with jackets. 
Skip it for full suits, as the difference in formality between the garments is simply going to be too great. If you want to wear a t-shirt with an odd jacket and trousers, you can do so slightly more easily. And one additional note here, if keeping cool is your main aim, then look into getting jackets without an interlining in them, and in lightweight summer fabrics. For more information on these kinds of lightweight summer-appropriate jackets, stay tuned for an upcoming video on summer suits. Of course, we'd like to know, what are your own personal opinions on pairing t-shirts with jackets? We anticipate that we might have some more varying opinions for this video than some others, but we'll be curious to read the comments that are coming. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit that little bell icon so videos like these can come straight to your inbox. As you can see, I'm wearing a combination of t-shirt and jacket in today's video, but I'm trying to follow the guidelines that we laid out so that things are generally more harmonious than they might otherwise be. First of all, my t-shirt is plain gray and isn't form-fitting or too baggy. I've got it tucked in as well. In some of these shots, you may catch brief glimpses of a logo in the upper left-hand corner of the t-shirt. Frankly, this was unavoidable for me, as I don't own any completely plain t-shirts that I would see as being totally suitable for pairing with jackets. This, if anything, underscores the point we're trying to make in this video. However, given that this was one of the most plain t-shirts I had, and in one of the most neutral colors, I wore it to approximate the advice that we're giving. The jacket I'm wearing over the shirt is a summer weight jacket in a cotton linen blend and featuring a subtle window pane pattern. The jacket is blue-gray and the pattern on top is beige and brown. The accent of color in the outfit comes from the pocket square, which is beige in color and features edge stitching in blue, thus harmonizing with the jacket. Meanwhile, my trousers are plain charcoal, echoing the gray tones of the shirt as well as those of the jacket. Another element of color in today's outfit comes from my socks, which are from Fort Belvedere. They're shadow-striped models in blue, and the stripe is gray. Finally, I'm wearing a newer pair of dark oxblood penny loafers, replacing the older pair that you've seen in past videos. Stay tuned for an upcoming video on how my shoe collection will be growing soon. In addition to the shadow striped socks, you can find a wide variety of other accessories in the Fort Belvedere shop here.